For the first time in years, Blizzard has made an official statement regarding a potential sequel to the Warcraft movie. Up until now, fans have only had whispers from insiders and the occasional cryptic remark from director Duncan Jones. The first Warcraft, which dropped eight years ago, was a mixed bag, loved by many diehard fans but thoroughly dismantled by movie critics. Despite its flaws, the adaptation garnered a loyal following that still clings to the hope of seeing a sequel. And just recently, the franchise's icy silence seems to have thawed, with fresh developments making their way to the public eye. Holly Longdale, the executive producer of Warcraft, has sparked new hope for future projects. In an interview with Variety, she confirmed that Microsoft Studios, now the parent company of Activision Blizzard, is keen on expanding the Warcraft universe. This expansion could include full-length films and TV series with both live action and animated formats on the table. Longdale also shared a tantalizing hint about the possibility of a direct sequel to the 2016 movie. While stopping short of an outright confirmation, she praised the studio's current in internal dynamics and emphasize that Warcraft is now a high priority for producers. No specific projects have been announced yet, but Longdale noted that the successes of Amazon's Fallout adaptation and Super Mario Bros. have inspired Microsoft to seriously explore the potential of adapting gaming franchises. However, Xbox president Matt Booty offered a measured perspective, warning that not every game lends itself to traditional movie formats. He said that the leadership plans to be strategic strategic about where they allocate their resources, but Warcraft is practically tailor-made for cinematic storytelling. Its rich lore and massive fan base make it an obvious contender for films or series, even if there are lingering questions about why a sequel hasn't already happened. The delay is puzzling, especially when considering that Universal Pictures and Legendary originally announced plans for a full trilogy. Each installment was supposed to roll out every two years, with Warcraft 2 slated for 2018 and the finale for 2020, but the harsh critical reception, studio politics, and underwhelming domestic box office returns ultimately sealed the trilogy's fate. All ambitious plans were never meant to materialize, leaving many fans baffled. After all, the first Warcraft grossed nearly half a billion bucks worldwide on a 160 million budget. So why was such a seemingly successful project shelved after just one attempt? The answer lies in a critical stumbling block. While the film's global box office haul reached approximately 440 million, it only earned 47 million in U.S. market. For the producers, this kind of domestic underperformance was a disaster. In Hollywood, the success of blockbusters is often measured by its performance on home turf, and the lukewarm U.S. reception convinced Universal and Legendary that a sequel was simply too risky. However, the tides are shifting. Recent success stories like The Last of Us have proven that, with the right production values and storytelling, video game adaptations can achieve extraordinary success and even rival the dominance of superheroes. Given Warcraft's immense narrative depth, fans universally agree that the franchise holds the potential to sustain a cinematic universe for decades without losing relevance. Admittedly, not every adaptation strikes gold. The trailer for the upcoming Minecraft faced a wave of dislikes, and the Halo series was cancelled after just two seasons. These missteps highlight the challenges of bringing games to the screen. Yet, Warcraft stands apart as a franchise with unparalleled potential. Its expansive lore and massive fan base set it up for success, and Duncan Jones's original vision was an epic fantasy that balanced the orc human conflict against the backdrop of an even greater looming threat. His movie distinguished itself by giving equal weight to both orcs and humans, carefully crafting the motivations of both sides. This nuanced approach set it apart from other fantasies that often lack such balance. Moreover, film was conceived as the opening chapter of a trilogy. Jones had planned to delve deeper into the lore in the sequel, expanding the story after the first part laid the groundwork by introducing the characters. Interestingly, Warcraft's financial success success in China played a crucial role in its overall profitability. Jones even joked that a sequel could bypass a U.S. release entirely to save on marketing costs and focus on the international market, where the film's appeal was strongest. Duncan also shed light on the complex behind-the-scenes challenges that hindered Warcraft's trajectory. According to him, Blizzard didn't view the movie as a priority. Instead, they saw it as a marketing tool to draw new players to their games rather than as a standalone cinematic endeavor. This approach clashed with Jones's deep passion for Warcraft lore. He was committed to immersing audiences in the franchise's rich mythology, with ambitious plans for the sequel. He envisioned depicting the fall of Stormwind and the rise of Thrall, a character destined to become a pivotal figure in the movie series. Warcraft 2 would have primarily focused on Thrall's coming-of-age journey, his struggle for freedom, and his quest to establish a new orc civilization. Jones explained that this narrative was designed to resonate with a broader audience, making the story more universal while staying true to the franchise's roots. 
Interestingly, these unused concepts might still find life in future adaptations. For example, a new movie could revolve around the Lich King, an iconic character even recognized by those who've never played Warcraft. Such a reboot could function as both a sequel to the first film and a standalone venture, leveraging the franchise's vast potential, which remains one of the richest in the fantasy genre. Jones has expressed his eagerness to return to the franchise in any capacity. Given his recent lack of high-profile projects, a comeback to Warcraft could thrust him back into the spotlight. This enthusiasm is why he continues to champion the idea of a sequel. However, even if Microsoft opts for a TV series instead of a direct movie sequel, there's plenty of promise in that format. A series could allow for a more diverse creative approach involving multiple directors to balance different stylistic and narrative perspectives across episodes. Jones himself could take on the role of producer, guiding the overarching vision while giving other filmmakers room to innovate. From a practical standpoint, a serialized format seems more feasible than a theatrical sequel, offering a broader canvas to explore Warcraft's intricate world. As recently as last year, former Warcraft president John Haidt openly emphasized in multiple interviews that Blizzard has not lost interest in creating a cinematic universe. In fact, he revealed that active discussions were underway to determine the best approach for adapting Warcraft in a way that meets today's high standards of quality. Haidt's statements underscore Blizzard's awareness of their franchise's unique potential. What's more, he noted that the studio is committed to collaborating with top-tier partners in the entertainment industry to ensure any projects fully realize the rich possibilities of the Warcraft universe. While specific details remain under wraps, this level of dedication offers hope for fans eager to see the franchise return, whether in the form of a sequel, a series, or something entirely new. The question now is whether the powers that be will recognize the untapped potential of Warcraft and greenlight a sequel or even an entire cinematic universe. With Microsoft at the helm and a proven track record of video game adaptations gaining traction, fans are cautiously optimistic. Subscribe.